How are we already making a December TBR video? The fall, I mean, this whole entire year, I feel like it's gone by really fast, but the fall especially, I feel like has flown by. And it's time for my December TBR. I have quite a bit of books that it's like required. Like I have to read these books. Oh, sorry. Trying to get tickets to a signing right now is blowing up a group chat. So, okay, anyways. So I have my December reading plan. So like I said, I have quite a few books that I'm going to be reading for vlogs or book clubs or things. So I have quite a few books that I will for sure be reading but then I'm gonna sneak in some just other ones that I'm trying to get done by the end of the year also well you can't really see it but this is a work in progress back here this used to be all movies but I moved them to my old dvd racks to make more room for books because I have too many books and I don't have room for another bookcase in my apartment so this is a work in progress it'll look better but I'm moving mostly my fantasy and like my older romances in here so that way my shelves out in my living room can be like my really pretty like indie shelves should be better by my video friday so let's jump in first up so two book clubs so first up for smut club that i co-host with cheyenne our oh that's gonna be bad lighting okay am i gonna have to hold it over here i never hold it over here <gasps> i don't like this <laughs> anyways our pick for december is haven by rebecca weatherspoon spoon for smut club so this one i think this like a girl gets lost in the woods and is she running from someone and oh a deadly dash for her survival and then she meets this nature photographer that is out just like in the middle of the woods and he like takes her in and like protects her and stuff i'm excited about it i've been wanting to read this for such a long time and i'm so glad that cheyenne hadn't read it like back when we were deciding all of our picks because this was one that we had both been wanting to read so very excited to give this one a go and also like just hot although this this is the same cover model from the guy of the wild by k webster hopefully this one's better than that book <laughs> and then um uh, out of bounds book club that i co-host with nikki our pick for december is the madhouse by liza james i am so freaking excited about this book first of all this cover is gorgeous liza james has some of the best covers if i do say so myself also the formatting is very pretty so this one i think it's stepsisters it's sapphic stepsisters dark and i think it's like lizzie borden inspired if i'm remembering correctly i've heard amazing things about this and i'm just really excited to dive into something by liza james um i do have another liza james book i will be reading vibe by her as well this month for a reading blog so i'll probably read that one first before i get to this one but i'm very excited to give liza james a go because she's been an author that i've been wanting to give a try for a very long time but like look at the formatting of this book stunning okay next for read-alongs oh i could grab them they're right up there <laughs> for read-alongs so myself nikki and cheyenne are hosting a after read-along we all love that series that's one of the series that got us into romance so us three wanted to get together well cheyenne was like hey guys do you want to do this read-along and nikki and i were like hell yes so we are rereading the after series so this coming week so this video is going up on tuesday so on thursday we have our first live show for the first two books and then in two weeks from now we have the live show for the last books i want to say i don't remember the schedule 100 percent. i can put the dates down below or all of the information is on our instagrams but um so i'm in the middle of after we collided right now but i will need to read after we fell book three i will be reading this next month and after ever happy we are not going to be reading before for it who cares about that one? I don't. I am loving, loving this reread of them. I'm listening to them in audiobook form because my um, Hoopla has them. And I'm really enjoying that experience listening to them because it's like, I obviously know this story, like the back of my hand, but it's like a new experience on the same story, which is like just fun for it. So yeah, I'm very excited to keep going in that. Okay, so next up, uh, another reading vlog that I'm going to be doing, and this one is also with Cheyenne, but we have never read Sophie Lark before and it is time. It is time that we read her. So we are going to be collabing and reading the first three books in the Brutal Birthright series uh, for a reading vlog. So the first one is Brutal Prince. So these are all mafia books and I'm pretty sure this one, like it's a, um, arranged marriage and enemies to lovers because I'm pretty sure the heroine like eats strawberries which the hero is like really allergic to and then kisses him on their wedding day to try to like kill him. So yeah. And then Stolen Air, which is book two. So this one, um, I think it's like a Beauty and the Beast retelling. 
And again, I think the hero kidnaps the heroine and she's like a ballet dancer. And then the third one, Savage Lover, which like everyone dislikes, but this one actually like piqued my interest a lot because it's street racing. And I love the Fast and Furious franchise. I just love car racing. So this one, uh, I don't really know much else about that, except that it's like, I think, obviously mafia and like street racing so i'm very excited to give those a go i've really been wanting to get into sophie lock i really really want to get to the kingmaker series by her the most which is like the next gen series off of this but i want to be good and read them in order so i'm excited to give that a go and yeah so cheyenne and i will both be reading those then let's see here okay so this just released and i this has been my most highly anticipated book of this series even though the first two have been absolute flops and that is by fate i conquer by cora riley so her next generation series i have really not liked I did a reading, did I do a reading vlog for the second one? I know I did one for the first one. I don't know if I did one for the second one, but I hated both of those books. I was really, really disappointed. And I haven't even read the third one, which I also put on here by Virtue I Fall. So this one is Anna's book and I think it's her bodyguard. So I never got around to reading this one because I was so disappointed by those other two. But like I said, I like to read in order. So I am hoping to get to this one. I might just skip it and get to the next one. But uh, this one is Dante and Valentina's daughter. But then the one that I'm most anticipating, which is by Fate I Conquer, and that is Amo and Greta's book. And Amo is uh, Luca and Arya's son from the Born and Blood Chronicles. And Greta is one of Remo and Serafina's twins. This one is the one that I've most highly an been anticipating out of this series because those are my two favorite couple. Well, no, I mean, Luca and Arya aren't like my favorite couple, but... Remo and Luca are my favorite mafia men. So I'm very excited. And actually I've heard good things about this one so far. I have not heard great things, obviously from me. I didn't like the first two and I haven't heard great things about the third one, but this one I've been hearing like better things about. So I am excited to finally jump back into this world and give it a go. Okay, next up I have, oh, it's back over there again and I don't feel like getting it. Gleanings by Neil Schusterman. I've already started this. Um, it's like a collection of stories from the Ark of Scythe series and it's like a YA dystopian series and I love 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 the Ark of Scythe series one of my all-time favorites and this is a new release and it's just like stories over the course of history so I've already started I've already read the first one so I'm just planning on finishing it this month um, I am taking it like a little slower and just kind of reading like story by story but I am enjoying it and I'm just happy to be back in that world next I want to read damaged oh I want to read damaged like us by krista and becca ritchie so this is the first book in the like us series which is like the next gen series from the addicted slash callaway sister series so i read that earlier this year obviously loved it and then caitlin sent me the first three books in the series for my birthday and i'm just so excited to dive into this this one follows moffy maximoff but like he goes by moffy and that is uh lillian lowe's son and it's like bodyguard romance mm bodyguard romance so i'm just i don't know if i'm gonna get to this but i'm just putting it out there so that way like it's back on my radar like i said when i'm looking for something to read next it's like oh you wanted to really jump into that so i am excited to get to the next generation even though like i don't think it'll live up to the parents but it can try it can try okay next up for another reading vlog i stumbled upon this series i was looking for Christmas novellas to read because I'm not really like the hallmark holiday rom-com full-length book kind of reader. I just want something short and spicy and Christmassy. So I stumbled upon this series, which is in my opinion, pure gold. <laughs> so it is 25 Christmas novellas. I'll like just include like the video screenshot. These titles are absolutely insane. These are so unhinged and I'm going to do a reading vlog with some of them. Nikki's also going to read some as well and we're going to collab and vlog it. So I've already read one of these in November and I'm just going to, I don't know how many I'm going to read. I'm not going to read all 25, but I'm just going to pick out some of the most insane sounding. So I've already read stock and stuffer, like stocking stuffers. Yeah. And I'm currently reading like the Hark the Herald's Angels Moan. Wild wild so i don't know what of these i'm going to read but i will be reading some of these novellas and there will be a vlog for those because yeah lastly again i don't think i'm gonna i don't know if i'm gonna get to this but it is one that i would like to and that is the game plan by macaulay smelter so this one is a hockey fake 
dating romance, I think. So I obviously, I just like Macaulay Smelter a lot. I just want to get through more of her backlist and this one piqued my interest. I'm kind of in the mood for like a hockey romance, especially in December. Like I just feel like that kind of fits the vibes. And yeah, I would just like to give that one a go. So I'm putting it on here and I think it's like bad boy, good girl, of course. I think he's like in trouble with some of his brands and like his public image and then he needs her to like be his goody two shoes kind of like girlfriend in public so yeah anyways alrighty that's all the books oh and then obviously I will be reading Vibe and Sick Fox for my Band Forbidden Taboo reading vlog but I didn't put those on this TBR this month because I put them on November's but I will be reading them this month so anyways that is everything that I have planned to read for December. So yeah, I got quite a few books that it's like I have to be reading. So I think it should like wrap up the year pretty solidly. So anyways, I will be back on Friday with my November wrap up. And yeah, that's it for today. And I will see you when I see you.